Hi guys, it's Anna here. In this video, I am sketching and painting uh, birds with uh, color pencils. In this case, I am going to use Prismacolor, but you can do, use whatever you have or like. Um, I am sketching this little guy. There was a photo reference, but it's not like the photo reference is very like some features are very exaggerated, like the head and the height, I mean, it's very big comparing to the rest of the bird. So I kind of included the sketch so you can see the proportions if you want to do this too. And this was, <laughs> I kind of add like this little bit to sit down and paint and I actually had energy to do it. So it was like the perfect storm for <laughs> art and <laughs> making an art video. And when I when I finished it, because then I get very into what I'm doing, I get really lost in my mind and concentrated in, in what I'm doing and what I'm painting, what I'm using, like the colors, the values, the the shapes, the and I kind of forget about the the camera. I mean, I I never forget totally because it's there, right? Sometimes. <laughs> I can't even see very properly, but I, I am not looking again to see if it's like focusing, if it's sliding down the tripod, why would it slide down, right? I mean, I fixed that problem before, it's not gonna happen again, it, it did. <laughs> it did, and I was so sad, I was so sad because I, I kind of... It's, it's not very often that you sit down and paint and have time to paint and use really like not just a sketch you can really use the material materials you have and spend money on them and then you kind of like the final result and you kind of you filmed it and everything is going well and then no <laughs> the camera was sliding down again don't know why because i had fixed it um and for some reason it just it just like it's it starts sliding and some parts are not even focused and I, and I was i was really annoyed when i figured that out so this video is going to be like um what i could say from the footage because i like the, the final product <laughs> and you kind of you kind of can see what i'm doing mainly after the um, editing uh, like here it's absolutely unfocused and I don't know why because it was focused before no one touched the camera and yeah so I guess it was an, a, a no day I don't know just for filming because the heart went well um, and and then it focused but it starts sliding down and I don't know why because right now it stopped it's it's still you know it's not sliding and then it starts sliding why? Why? It's it's so weird. I mean, gravity was taking a nap, I guess, and then she woke up. So I am using Prismacolors. I am using like it, this is a sketchbook, but it's a watercolor sketchbook. And I, when I am using like um, colored pencils, I like to use um, watercolor paper. Mainly, if you, after I learned how to use. <laughs> Uh, color pencils properly if that's a thing I mean anyone can use anything as they want you know but um, when I started like watching people use um, color pencils I mean first you have to lay down some pencil and not not burnish or what, what do you say <laughs> I don't know if it's burnish it's it's I don't know burn the the, um, the paper I mean you can't press too hard you have to do like soft layers but um, a lot of them um, so you can have enough pigment down and then y you go over with like mineral spirits uh, like what you use in oils and I think there there are products specific for colored pencils but do the same thing and you kind of move the pigment around like it was paint 
it's fantastic and then you can layer over those layers i mean and and the first layer you kind of use a little bit more of white mineral spirits and in the, the in the next layers you won't use that that many and you can even leave one layer like the last layer without um doing that but by doing that you get like this really smooth effect without uh putting a lot of strength in the paper because it kind of dissolves the pigment and the pigment gets in those little the, t the tooth of the paper and it gets like um, really covered up I mean you don't get these white pieces you can see here like in the in the branch you can really see because it's a dark color you see there's white um, and there's dark color the dark color is like on top if you imagine the paper the tooth of the paper being like mountains you know and and valleys the the color would be in the in the top of the mountain uh, on the top of the mountain and not in the valley it doesn't get into the valley because the paper is not sp absolutely smooth it has this texture uh, and when you kind of dilute the pigment with um, the mineral spirits you you get to to color the valleys <laughs> too if that makes any sense to you so um you know this footage this footage is going to be uh, before i i use the the first layer of uh, mineral spirits it's going to be like a headless bird but um yeah i think i think you can you can still see what i'm doing like you should have your pencils kind of sharp i used the went sharpener the manual uh, sharpener it's very 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 good it's like m my favorite sharpener I guess um, and basically what you see you look at the reference photo and you kind of try to match the values more than the colors you don't have to have the exact colors but you you should should use the same values I mean if you if you're not changing like the light source or whatever right if you're if you're doing the what's in the photo value wise you should really pay attention to that and color is not that important but um uh you have to layer and layer this is this is a little sped up because otherwise the video would be like one hour and as you can see i'm using like the colors and i'm i'm trying to see shapes instead of like uh, this is a bird and this is a feather and now I'm trying to see shapes and when I have like this dark pencil I like to uh, sometimes I squint my eyes and see where where is this dark this is a dark value where is it it's in on this part of the bird and so I can use it a little bit here a little bit there I, I mean I, I go I try to see where that value is and try to put it on the painting wherever it shows it, it, I'm not like doing um, <laughs> one feather and then the other feather and then the other I don't do that way I kind of see the whole thing not that you can see it now but um, and I kind of missed um, the recording of the how I did the head and the eye is really important not to see specifically here because the, the eye is very dark very simple but um, it's very important for for the final piece that's what I mean and so you can see like I am layering and layering and sharpening and layering <laughs> that's that's and it's it's not boring to me I love to sharpen the pencils and uh, I love to layer and layer and see it becoming richer and richer because all the layers will be able to to come through you know you, you will see the yellow right where I am right now is <laughs> if you can see at all uh, the layers you can see the yellow the orange the the dark red and the red it's it's like all the layers are visible which is incredible that makes the very much more realistic um, painting or drawing or whatever you want to call it and it's very rich and your the high of the viewer really really likes to see it uh, so here it is my little guy so this is the mineral white mineral spirit I think it's <laughs> it's how you call it um, 
and see I, I have this little box this metal box that has a, a lid and I, I put just a little just some drops there just don't need too much and you see how, how much more vibrant the yellow became and you'll see on the beak it gets much more blue but you'll see in the black the black feathers I, I, I kind of put this in real time so you can really see how it it dilutes it, look at it it dilutes the pigment and it becomes like ink and you can even kind of change a little bit I used it to make the the feathering more evident so it's really cool and then you it just dries very quickly it dries very quickly and you can apply other layers and it's it's this when I when I figured <laughs> this out with color pencils I I I don't know people just have like art classes in school mid middle school or whatever you call it but it, they don't teach you anything like you have to buy pencils and I had Karen Dash pencils at that time and I just didn't know how to use them there's there's nothing like the it was nothing like this it, ju it just had the pencils I had pencils forever because I didn't use them because I would rather kind of use pens or something because and, and I had those watercolor pencils which is weird to me I didn't even know they were watercolor until like when I started to be more into hearts and I went to color pencils because I started with oil then I passed to acrylic I went to acrylics and then a little bit of watercolor and then I I kind of figured out then then ink and wash like using ink and then water uh, and then pencils uh, the watercolor pencils and not regular pencils and then uh, pastel first the soft pastels and then oil pastels so it's been <laughs> a journey <laughs> it's been a journey um but you know i had those pencils like from eighth grade and it's like when i was like 30 or 35 is that a, yes i'm very old <laughs> when i when i figured out how to use them and that's just a waste and that's just sad I mean that's just sad like I had that material that good material my parents uh, it was just a set of 12 pencils but you can do a lot with with a set of 12 uh, mainly considering that these pencils can be layered and should be layered and layered and layered so yeah uh, um, with with a 12 of uh, with a set of 12 you can uh, accomplish a lot so it's very sad that teachers kind of don't well maybe maybe they do now i don't know maybe they do in another country but uh, not in mine it was pretty sad actually i once had like um i don't know how you grade well how you are your grades are it's like i think f it's when you when it's, it's a b c c it's like mm, and then f it's when you don't even have like <laughs> great enough to pass that uh, that that uh, I don't know discipline I don't know I discipline for you it's something else <laughs> that uh, le um, class class that class um, and w once I had that in visual designs or FAT it's like um, visual education design something like that uh, you know like like drawing i had i like i had like an f at drawing and i always wanted to draw i always loved to draw i draw i drew on my own time uh and there was like this project with uh i don't know those that that that's um you know like arch architects do like those very ugh, oral design it's, just, it's not design it's just like shapes and cylinders and circular things and it's very kind of i don't know i don't even remember the name of the but it's horrible it's not creative at all it's horrible and i and i and i had a really bad grade there um and it's unbelievable that i had a, that bad of a grade um 
in everything uh, in in arts né? in in an art class i mean it's just crazy to me but uh, it happened so yeah <laughs> don't let it discourage if you do because yeah it happened to me too um doesn't mean anything it's just a teacher that maybe doesn't like you or you don't like the how they're presenting things so just do your thing uh i mean try to, to make an effort to pass the class of course because <laughs> yeah so i'm getting out of track here so as you can see it's getting really vibrant and there's a, a nice thing here you can you can add uh, lighter lighter layers or darker layers upon the layer you had it before um, if you melt it with the mineral spirits then you can add whatever you want on top uh, although some whites are really miserable <laughs> I like the Durant, Durant Chinese white that's a very good white pencil wise or you can also use like um, white pigment diluted uh, or maybe gouache yeah it's a, it's or even a gel pen you know depending on what you're gonna do with uh with your hearts this is just a sketchbook so it could be with a with a gel pen uh so i think i'm going to a posca pen is really good now i'm gonna have to <laughs> i had to make some made some make some scribbles because i was exaggerating the bird and i wanted it to be really like you can see this white it kind of shows a little bit but pff, almost nothing just it's it's a very very little very light very little effect i mean you can see something but it's not like not like a posca pen or or something or a gouache or whatever um but it's an interesting effect it's like almost like a transparent white like uh but you can you can you can do something with it not 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 achieving uh, an opaque white like a titanium white it's more like <laughs> a zinc white that it's very transparent but um it has an effect also you gotta you gotta use it and and see what you can do with the materials and as you can see i am layering and layering and layering and for me it's very relaxing and it's very cool starting to see what you can achieve and all the effects you can achieve it's very hard to know when to stop <laughs> actually but uh, well i am going to stop here <laughs> if you like this video even though it was kind of crazy uh, a headless bird in the beginning uh, give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to be notified when I post more content like this. It's going to be something like this, at least art related. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this guy. I hope you have fun and bye bye.